This is a tutorial on how to make a gathered mini dress. I am using velvet fabric, but you can use whatever you want, and it's only four pattern pieces. Super easy. Before we get started, I want to talk about Fashionary. They are amazing. They have tons of fashion books and sketchbooks. This one is about the hidden facts of fashion. With any purchase this December, you will get a free Fashionary heavy duty clip and it's perfect for holding your sketches together. So highly recommend them, go check it out. I'll put the link in my bio. Step one is to cut the pieces out. I'm making sure everything um, follows the grain line and I'm just cutting out my pieces. Then I cut out the skirt. It's 18 by 77 for my size. And I'm just cutting it out, it's a big rectangle. Then I'm gonna sew two rows of stitching at a five stitch length. I'm sewing the first row at a quarter of an inch and then the fabric will kind of start gathering on its own since the stitch length is so wide. And then I start the second row right next to the first row. So it should be right underneath the half inch seam allowance and just gently pull the threads and it'll look like this, nice and gathered. Ignore the cat hair, I'm sorry, <laughs> I was Fiji. Time to cut out the lining pieces. Same thing, made sure that they were following the grain line and I cut them out. Cut out the skirt lining piece. Um, I made it an inch shorter than the main skirt. This is my son, Fiji. He loves to help. And do the same thing. So here I'm sewing two rows of stitching at a five stitch length. I realized that I need interfacing for my dress. I just parked at my local fabric store and I'm gonna pick up some woven interfacing. I feel like if I get a fusible, it might damage my fabric because I feel like the heat on the velvet could melt my velvet, so I don't wanna do that. I'm gonna do a woven interfacing, so let's go. I am cutting out my woven interfacing. I have my velvet bodice piece and I have my interfacing piece. What I'm going to do is line them up. It's gonna be on the back side of the velvet. And I'm just gonna sew right at the very edges. I would say like a quarter of an inch all around. This is what the piece looks like when it has the woven interfacing. You can see like how nice and structured this is compared to the same exact piece. No structure. This one is gonna look a lot better for the bodice of the dress. I'm going to repeat that process with the rest of the bodice pieces. Fold and pin the darts and sew the dart closed. A little tip I use is I lower the stitch length when I get to the end of the dart. Boom. Okay, I did a quick outfit change because I wanted to show you what it looks like, but black fabric on top of a black shirt, you can't really see it, so. And plus I just got this sweater in the mail. I just like the festive vibes. So anyway, you can see I sewed the darts and the darts will be facing downwards. I'm gonna do like a light press with the iron. This gives it a nice structure. I don't know if you can see it. This is one piece, this is the other piece. The darts are here and here. I am going to sew the center seam. I'm just putting the two pieces right side to right side. Press the seam and darts at the lowest setting and don't use any steam. You don't want the velvet to melt. So cute. The next thing we're gonna do is the side panel. This piece will be here. So we're gonna do this, put the pieces right side to right side, sew it half of an inch, and boom, that will be the next step. 
place the side panel on top of the front panel, right side to right side, sew at half of an inch seam allowance. Press the seam at the lowest setting, no steam. Repeat with the back panel and attach it to the side panel. Sew at half of an inch seam allowance. Don't forget to back tuck. All right, so we have the bodice pieces cut out and sewn in velvet, and I am going to do the exact same thing with the lining pieces, and then I'll show you the next step. This is what the bodice piece looks like sewn together and the skirt gathered. So pin the skirt to the top and sew at half of an inch seam allowance. Take your time while sewing this. That's what it looks like so far. That's the lining. All right, time for the velvet. Okay, so evenly distribute the gathering when you pin the skirt to the bodice part. And baste it together, which means to hand sew, and then machine sew at half of an inch seam allowance. So basting it will just make it easier to sew, especially since this fabric is like kind of thick. I sewed it together and that's what it looks like. Very exciting. So mark your zipper the length it's going to be. I did 12 inches and then pin the dress right side to right side. Mark at 12 and a half from the very top with chalk. And starting from the bottom, sew at a two and a half stitch length until the marking and back tack. Change the stitch length to five and then sew until the top. Open up your seam. You're gonna press the seam flat. Mark half of an inch down from the top and then align your zipper down the seam. Pin the zipper onto the seam allowances and make sure that the center of the zipper matches the center of the seam. So just take your time with this. Notice I'm doing it like bit by bit. Baste the zipper onto the seam allowance. This is what it should look like. And make sure the top of the zipper tape is folded down before sewing. Then you will flip the dress to the right side and remove the machine basting. And it should look like this. Unzip your zipper all the way to the very end. Like notice how my zipper is like longer than the 12 inches. So I used a tweezer or you can use a hemostat, which is like a medical tool to pull the zipper pull all the way down. And then with a zipper foot, sew as close to the teeth as possible and sew an inch past your chalk marking. So here I am sewing my zipper. I learned this method from my professor at FIT back when I went there, Kenneth King. He actually has a really good tutorial on YouTube, so I'll link that down below. Now you will pull the zipper up, all the way up. And look, look at that, it's beautiful. Like it just, it looks like an invisible zipper. You can't even tell it's there. Amazing. Okay, now for the lining. So again, right side to right side. Start from the bottom and sew up to where your zipper will end. Press the seam open. And now you're gonna put the lining on top of the velvet dress, right side to right side and you will match up all the seams. So notice all the seams are pressed open. Pin all around. And sew at half of an inch seam allowance. Just take your time with it. Notice I have like a lot of pins in there. 
Press the seam allowance towards the lining, stitch at the very edge of the lining to keep the seam in place. So this way the lining won't stick out um, when you wear the dress. Fold the lining over the zipper tape, right side to right side. And just keep going. And with the zipper foot, sew very close to the zipper teeth until you get to like the end of the zipper. This is what it should look like and very gently press the inside with the lowest setting. Gently push the corners out on the dress so this is what the dress looks like so far. I know my accessories don't match right now, but this is what it looks like. So I have to do the hem, the hem on the lining, and I have to add a hook and eye closure to my back. Measure the hem, fold it, and pin. I did three quarters of an inch because for this fabric I felt like that would be the best. Time to hand sew the hem. This actually can be like therapeutic. Well, for me it is. It's like annoying because it takes some time, but eventually you'll get into the flow of it and it's a vibe. <laughs> it's therapeutic. What can I say? Okay. Now for the lining, I'm doing a baby hem. I'm sorry that this clip is blurry, but I sew a quarter inch guideline. Then I fold that the quarter inch and I sew it. And then I fold one more time and I sew at the very edge of the fold. And that's how it came out. Very nice. Last step is the hook and eye. You're going to sew this on by hand. It takes a little bit of practice because it kind of, the pieces are so small, like they just kind of like want to fall out of your hands, but you can do it. <laughs> and this is the final dress. You can do so much with the customization of this dress. You can add in uh, straps, ruffles, Whatever you want to do, you can change the length, you could add in pockets, it's totally up to you. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something, some tips and tricks on sewing, and I hope you make a dress of your own. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.